Hi everyone, welcome to the second video in the series. Uh, this time we're going to go through a process of box mapping a, for UVs. Um, the first step that we want to do is put our Maya uh, window here into our view that we want to use. So we go down to save layouts and then go down to perspective UV texture editor. We now have our two views. We can move across here. Uh, the next step that we want to do is to create some geometry. So I've created a cube here. We then want to go and delete the existing UVs. We want to select all the faces that we want to map in this particular uh, object and then go to create UVs and this time we want to use an automated mapping system. In this case, it's going to map on six planes. We can see that here, the different projection maps being applied and being shown here in the UV texture editor. So the next step that we want to do is to make sure that we rotate our UVs to the correct rotation. So we can do that by coming up uh, into object mode and selecting, uh, say, the top face here at the front. So we can see here that everything's uh, skewed around. So let's select all of our UVs and rotate all of the UVs to the correct orientation. And now if we select our edge, we can see now that it's all to the top side. So the next step that we want to do is to select from our front and position all of our UV maps uh, on the side here just to get a better representation of our box. So we'll go via our faces and then we'll just move our various faces into position. Again, select and move, select and move, select and move and go back to our front face and go to the left hand side and move and then to our right hand side and move. And now we've got our net diagram here of our box. Let's return back to our front view. So now what we want to do over here is to sew each of these individual edges uh, to each other. So you'll notice here that we're in the move uh, process. So what we need to do is we need to just turn off the move and then if we come onto our object over here and go UVs and then over here in our UV editor we go to edge mode and now we can select the edges that we want to sew. So we select the edges and then we go to our move and sew. Select the edges, move and sew, select the edges, move and sew, edge, move and sew and edge, move and sew. Then we want to select our UV, scale it down, and then we have our UV map applied within our region here. And then we go through the same process as I showed you previously, where we go to polygons, UV snapshot, Apologies, make sure that you select your object and all your faces first, then go polygon, UV snapshot, um, select your location. I'm going to call this a box UV. Again, I'm just going to keep it at 512. Make sure you keep your aspect ratio, don't have anti-aliasing lines on, and then we'll save. So now that Photoshop is open, let's just load our map. And then again, go through the same process. Create a layer, which we call background. That's our UV layer. On our background layer, we want to paint it, change the layering order, create another layer, which we'll call texture. And then obviously we can paint onto this texture layer. So uh, we'll just throw some things in here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, and 
six. Turn off the UVs and go file, save as desktop, PNG, and this time I'm going to go box texture 512. Back to Maya. Again, we want to assign a new material, in this case, a Lambert material. Go to the material attributes, select the file, load in our box texture and display. And we can see now that we've got our texture map there.